Hey guys, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next video, we have the same feminine equivalent circuit from the last video, only instead of finding max power transfer, we added an ideal transformer in here um, with a turns ratio of 2 to 1. Uh, meaning that for every turn in the secondary, you have two turns in the primary winding. And the problem asks that um, asks us to find the power out or the power dissipated by the resistor RL. So as always, guys, um, pause the video, solve the the circuit on your own, and see if we can get the same answer. So there are really two different ways, or I guess you can say multiple different ways of solving this circuit. Um, we are going to solve it the hard way first, just to, to understand the fundamentals, and then in the next video we'll do the same circuit, just, um, you know, just, uh, show you a, a simpler way of solving this circuit without doing so much math. So the, the main equations here that we need to know to solve this problem is the relationship between the primary and secondary voltages of the transformer and the turns ratio, NP over NS. So that's important equation number one. And the other one is the relationship between the primary and secondary current of the transformer and the turns ratio. There we go. And the way you could solve this, um, one of the ways you can go about solving this is to find the current in the primary side, so IP, and just looking at the primary side of the transformer here, we have IP is equal to V in minus the voltage primary voltage of the transformer divided by Z. And using the current to um, turns ratio relationship above here, IP is also equal to NS over NP times the secondary current. And we also know what the secondary current is. So the secondary current is nothing but the secondary voltage of the transformer divided by the load resistance that 0.25 ohms. So we can also write that as NP over or NS over NP times ES over RL. <coughs> and we also know the relationship between the secondary voltage and the primary voltage of the transformer. So we can write this out. I'm going to write this a different way to, to show you guys. I just kind of rewritten it like this. So Vs, what is Vs? Vs is simply the turns ratio of the secondary divided by the turns ratio of the primary multiplied by Vp. Right, so Vs, just using the equation right above there, I'm just kind of man manipulating terms here, is equal to that. So when we plug this guy in, to the S there, we get the following. We get NS over NP times 1 over L times NS over NP times VP. And here this can simplify over to 
we can group these guys here ns and np square it bp over rl so here we got this equation or that expression rather and this expression and those two are equal so we can use that to, to solve for VP. And I'm going to get a new page here, and then we'll continue solving it. Okay, so I've rewritten it here. Um, we have that Vn minus VP divided by Z is equal to um, the number of turns in the secondary divided by the number of turns in the primary squared times voltage of the primary divided by that load resistance. And now we know all of the, the only unknown here is uh, V primary. And so we know that V in is 10. VP is unknown. Z also given 0 0.414. Oh, let's redraw that plus J 1.414 okay so that is Z we know that the number of turns in the secondary is 1 and the number of turns in the primary is 2 we can square that VP divided by the load resistance of uh, 0.25 ohms and when I solve for VP and put it into polar coordinates, I got 5 volts at an angle of negative 45 degrees. And so that gives us the voltage of the primary. We can easily turn that into, we can easily find the voltage of the secondary. Um, using the the turns ratio relationship, which was ns over np times vp, and so that is one over s five at an angle of negative forty five degrees. And at this point, you can you can drop the the negative 45 degrees so we're just gonna go ahead and drop that and get 2.5 volts and now we have the secondary voltage and using that we can definitely find the power out using Ohm's law V squared over R and when we plug in the numbers and solve for the power. Let's see, I get 25 watts. That is the answer. So did you get the same answer? Um, leave me a comment down below and um, you know let me know if there are any videos that you'd like to to see, anything um, that possibly needs you know further explanation uh, so just let me know in the comments below if you like this video give it a like uh, give it a like subscribe and um, I'll see you guys in the next video until then enjoy engineering